Okay, so the question goes as following. Last summer, I met a co-worker I was instantly attracted to, but didn't make any move. First of all, you're not the one who should be making moves. It's a stick. You're not the one who should be making moves. Why are you telling me to make a move? Is this a dude or a girl? You're saying he. So you can't be making moves. Don't make a move. At the company's Xmas party, we met again and had a really long talk. Okay, girl. He invited me to go clubbing with his colleagues after, and we had a fun, fun night. All right. We exchanged numbers, and from then on, had constantly, constant daily communication via text and voice notes. That's what I'm talking about, girl. All right. Um, I'm hoping that he's the one that asks for your number. He was curious about me and wanted to know many things I have never been asked by any other guy. Okay. Which really made me feel, made me like him a lot. No, you said you liked them from the start. Stop. No. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to question your, your, the way you saw, you know. <laughs> oh my fucking God, he's gaslighting her. No, I'm kidding. Um, we met a few times for coffee and in the office. Been to the gym together, dinner. We were at e each other's places, but nothing happened, though. Okay, that's a little weird. He either has a small dick and wants you to fall in love before he shows you his mini-me or something. But it is very weird when dudes don't make the first move unless you live in a religious culture. He would take at least one hour a day to answer long messages and voice notes, which is fine to be honest with you. One hour is not fine. It's not bad. I learned in March that he got out of a three-year relationship six months ago. He did not end it, but said it was over. It's over. So he did not end it, which is not good. When guys get dumped, they usually want to come back. That's the thing about guys. Guys have a strong hold on the past. We tend to have a harder time forgetting our exes more than women, at least in my experience. So I wanted not to push things from my side and wanted him to make the moves. What moves? So it's been six months. Wait, how long you guys been talking? Okay. I always matched his energy. He talked about his future plans with me, how many kids he wanted. Later on, about issues in his family. I felt like we were slowly progressing. Okay, so I'm hoping that it's been three months and you guys are in a relationship. Because I don't care what happens, what he tells you. If after three months, the person doesn't want a relationship, move on. It's not going to work out. It's always, it always works out that way. Last week, he offered to fix my car in his garage and went for dinner after and hung out at his place. He really ramped up the flirting and the emotional, soft talking, to which I responded alike. However, he never really initiated anything physical, which started to bother me. And yeah, it's starting to bother me because it's a little weird that a guy's not making a move. Usually when a guy's not making a move, it just means he's not, he may not like you that way. Like, because guys make a move out of instinct. Like, we make a move without even trying. We're not, without even noticing. The past week of exchange felt really intimate, and we were due to have another night out with colleagues. Everything was as usual, but when we were alone at the bar, he had enough alcohol in him. He told me he wants to focus on himself and not get involved with another person. Oh, he's giving that woman talk. He never wanted a relationship with me. I felt like he should have told me in March already. When he noticed, he... No, when he noticed, I wanted more, exactly. But was too cowardly to tell me. No, he wasn't he too cowardly. He's selfish. Yet, he was acting like he wanted to. I told him if he didn't want it... I couldn't force him, force him, and that he was indeed a coward. Okay, no, it's not he's a coward. He just doesn't like you. It's easier to say he's a coward for your ego. He's a little bitch, right? No, he, it's just he doesn't like you that way. He sent me an apology, and I called him disgusting. How do I deal with it? I feel like he used me to fill the void of his ex. Maybe. Maybe. He, people are weird. People are weird. Um, and, and it sounded like, yeah, he just used you for emotional support. 
Yeah, he maybe he liked you as a person, but he didn't like you that much to want a relationship. This is why after two or three months in a relationship, after two or three months of seeing someone, if the person doesn't want a relationship, you get the fuck out. That is the most important dating advice I could get, tell someone. If after two or three months, this person doesn't want a relationship, if after two months, he doesn't make a move, get out. Because personally, if after four dates, he doesn't make a move, get out of there. Get out of there. Don't waste your time. It's just that simple. And you know, this, to me, this advice, the two or three month rule, has consistently ranked, ranked true for my whole career as a coach. It's always worked out. And the reason why is because when I, I coach guys, and this is what they tell me, they always want a relationship in between two or three months. One month is a little too fast and creepy, right? After a month and a half, it's normal. But anytime it goes past the three month and they don't want a relationship, they could be giving you everything you want. They could be doing spinner roonies, backflips, cartwheels. But if they don't want a relationship after two or three months, there's nothing that will change in the fifth or sixth month. Nothing that will change between that. And it doesn't mean that they don't like you. In fact, sometimes you might love the person deep down. You just, like the, 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 the type of relationship you want with them is not a, a relationship normal, like a normal relationship. And that's totally fine. It is totally fine to want not want a romantic, but just want friendship with the person. That honestly, that, that that's happened many times when man, this person is so great, but I just it, it just doesn't. I, I mean, I'm not in that type of place. You know what I'm saying? So this person is just wasting your time. And, and like I always say, um, ladies, the two or three month rule it never fails. It never fails. Because there are so many people that end up being with people with, that waste that you end up wasting your time for two or three months and nothing ever and nothing ever happens, and the reason why is because you didn't follow the two or three month rule. You think that the chemistry you feel will make them change their minds after like in, in the next year. No, what they feel about you in three months is what they is what is like eighty to ninety percent of what they're gonna feel for the whole relationship. The rest is just making up that ten percent. Like after one month, a guy that likes you starts visualizing you in their minds with making eye contact. After two months, he starts to feel uncontrollable emotions. And then after two months, if you just pull away a little bit, you'll notice that they'll start going crazy. This never fails, people. Just follow that rule. Two or three month rule. And I can promise you, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of, love and a lot, and a lot of energy. All right? All right. Anyway, so that's my advice for you. Um... Uh, I feel like I, I call them, how do I deal with it? Well, like I said, you learn your lesson. Um, you move on from this. Um, and anytime a guy's not making a move after the fourth date, just don't accept this. Just move on. You're not going to be freaking encouraging him to make a move like a, like, like, like your parents encouraging you to fucking t take your first step. Like, Hey, little Bob, the Bob, the dater. Hey, are you gonna make a move, Bob? The fucking Bob the bitch. Like, like seriously, come on, man. Like, what type of worth do you have? Do you have to be encouraging people to make a move? And if you got to encourage them, you don't want them. Trust me, because then you're gonna be encouraging him to fucking propose. Come on, man. Indeed, he was a coward. Don't get mad at him. Don't get mad at him. He's not a bad person. He just didn't like you. He's not a coward. This is not a character flaw. What you did, you just most likely didn't follow this rule. I would love to know how long you guys were seeing each other. Mm. Last summer? Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? Last summer? And it's March? You say he, you felt he should have told you that in March. No, boo-boo. This is on you. Oh, my God. Two or, three, two or three month rule, okay? Follow it or I'm closing the channel. I'm serious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy, 
influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life. This is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15. 16. Holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know, now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then at week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10 day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.